Hi, my name is Tim Vickner. I work with European Medical Tourists. European Medical Tourists has developed a fast, easy, and always available internet-based program which enables patients to send their case information to any doctor, no matter where in the world they are, for a preclinical evaluation. No longer will snail mail lose or destroy your records. This video is a demonstration of how to use this software. We would like to thank Professor Dr. Rudolf Bertinoli for allowing us to use his installation of the software for instructional purposes. After the patient's initial email inquiry, the doctor's patient manager sends an email to the patient with the URL address, the patient's user ID, and password. As we can see here, we have a typical login form where the patient enters his or her user ID and password. Then all they have to do is click login. Once logged in, the first thing we notice at the top of the screen is the patient profile box. To enter the necessary data or change it, the patient simply clicks on Edit Patient. In our example, the fields are already completed, but it is important to complete all the fields. This allows staff to contact you and gives important medical information such as your date of birth, height, and weight. It is also important for the patient to change their password at the bottom here. When done, they click Save. But however, we're going to just cancel because we've already done this. You may notice that the program is set up to have expandable folders. This allows a compact view, but I'm going to expand all the folders for easy viewing. The next thing we notice are folder tabs. One says cervical, one says lumbar. These could also say hip, knee, ankle, shoulder, and continued depending on the installation of the program. Each area of the body requires a different type of evaluation. The tab that is highlighted is the one the patient is giving information for. In this example, we are entering information for the lumbar spine. Next comes clinical pictures. As the instructions note, these are pictures of the abdomen, front, side, and back. If the patient has any scars from previous surgeries, we'd like them to also upload them here. These pictures can be easily taken with a smartphone, transferred to the computer, and uploaded using these upload buttons. Next comes forms. As we all know, doctor's office re requires that we complete forms. Here we have the patient history form. A series of questions where you just simply type in the answers like so. I'm just typing in garbage as an example. When you get done, you save your answers. In our case, we'll cancel. When the form is completed, it'll turn green. Next comes medical files. Notice this says cervical, so we have to make sure we stay in the lumbar area here. Medical and clinical reports. These are doctor's notes, radiology reports, previous OR reports, nerve conduction studies, etc. 
Next we come to radiological images, which is one area where this program really outperforms all others. You simply put your CD image into your CD drive, or if you have a thumb drive, put it into your computer's USB port, and then click here. After you click there, you get these series of questions which tell us what type of imaging you're uploading. Is it an x-ray, a CT, an MRI, myelogram, or it could be multiple images. For our purposes, we'll just say x-ray. Next, we need to know the area of the body. Is it the lumbar, cervical, thoracic, or multiple studies? We'll select lumbar. And next comes the date the image was taken. You can either use this calendar box or simply type in the information yourself. You could say 12, 12, 2018 perhaps. Now comes the upload directory button. Now I have copied my images over to my hard drive. However, I could simply go to my CD drive and open this and open this and it will upload everything in that CD drive. Pretty neat. You don't have to mail your CDs anymore. You don't have to compress the CDs to upload them. Now some of our patients have already uploaded their entire CD or their DICOM folder to Dropbox or Google Drive. If you've done this, simply download the images as a zip file to your computer and then use ins the instructions for number at number three here. If you take that zip file and you simply click here and you answer the questions again. Now having done this already and not wanting to take up your time, I'm going to another example here where I have done this with my personal files. And you can see I have an upload of an, a lumbar, an x-ray of my lumbar spine taken on 2018 February the 14th and an MRI here. These are, can be downloaded, discarded, and the file name can be edited if we so desire. Also, we have an OHIF viewer which will allow the patient to see their images over the internet if they so desire. I, you simply double click on the study that you want to view and it pops up. Now the first thing it's going to pop up is the first image in the file which is my MRI report. But there are many series in the file. So if I wanted a view of my sagittal, of sagittal view of my spine, I would simply click here. And if I wanted an act, if I wanted to compare views, I can add a frame here like this. And now I can peruse my lumbar spine, the MRI of my lumbar spine. This can also be done, of course, for the X-rays. Notice here we see something different because I'm logged in as a super administrator here. We have a reminder schedule to remind patients that their follow-ups are coming up. We have, we can tell the patients or we can set the email that goes to the patients here and then we have notifications up to the staff of any activity here. These are all part of the back office workings of this program. If you have any further questions, please contact me at patient manager at europeanmedicaltourist.com. Thank you.